Hi everyone, welcome to another gear review. I'm your host Dave Brissetti, and on today's gear review, we have the Think Tank Airport Express. Now I'm gonna show you real quick how I've packed this bag over the last few years, uh, traveling around the country, traveling in New York City with this thing on my back. And we have a cool overhead cam for you here. Uh, the, we're using two cameras to shoot this, so I'm just gonna show you this vintage uh, film camera. But right here, we could pack this sucker in. Uh, we have a space here, or you can move the compartment. Oops. Let's start this over here. Boop. The cool thing is it's adjustable, so there you go. Put it a flash in here, one of the Canon flashes. Uh, this uh, pretty dope, it's called like a pocket rocket. It sounds like naughtier than it is, but all it does is hold very neatly these CF cards. I used to just throw them in here, but then I grew up and stopped being a savage. Uh, put that there. Um, Let's see drives, we have a ton of those. So this is how I pack it. Headphones, working on the bus, right there on headphones. Do one of these jobbies. Batteries, oh, we need batteries. But before we do that, CF card reader. Uh, I'll probably throw this sucker in here. Uh, the cable for it, right here. What else? We need a, we need a laptop charger, right? Laptop charger. Um, this bag, I mean, since 2015, since I got it, it's like not ripped at all, which is awesome. None of the zippers are broken. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I have some stuff in here ready, forgive me, but we're going to just keep packing this sucker. Oh, got this. Oh, forgot about this guy. Little, little uh, color checker. How to look. All right. Uh, what else do we need? We got the camera, we got a lens, we got a hard drive, we got a headphones for the bus trip. Uh, a little light, right? Maybe we're going to be working at nighttime. Ooh. Uh, we'll put this in here. I got some cool, you know what? Let's put this in here. And uh, maybe you have a lens, right? Maybe you have a cool FD lens you want to put in somewhere. Put it here. We got this big pocket. You know what we're going to do? Um... I'm gonna put a microphone. I'm gonna show you a little ATR 2100 in case you're podcasting on the road. Pick out the Zoom H5. You can put that in here. Put a microphone on top. Put a stand right here. This is pretty good. We have almost too much space here, so let me show you some battery stuff. All right, I have a little section here. I keep all my batteries and my chargers when I need a roll. But this is awesome. I usually just put a battery charger here. You could throw the batteries in here. Um, you know what? Here we go. I just got this really cool uh, Think Tank DSLR battery holder. I usually just throw the batteries in there, but let's see what the heck this actually looks like. Ooh, pretty nice, huh? Um, I actually like this. Let's try this out. Let's see where we can put this. Oops, boop. All right. I mean, it's kind of, kind of gets the job done. I'm kind of impressed. All right, we, we're using a lot of our batteries right now filming this, but maybe we do one of these jobs. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, you know what? Let's give this away. If you want to win this, uh, follow the creativefreelancer.com, which is the podcast, and follow me on Instagram at David Brissetti. I'll link those two below. And uh, we'll leave it open for a week. It's July 15th. If uh, in a week you've done it, I'm going to select who's ever given this a follow and give this away. Paint it forward, baby. All right little more lights. Last but not least, the difference between this bag and other bags I was looking at was this carries everything you just saw. And, uh, well, this carries everything you just saw and a laptop. So the biggest thing was I needed something that I was going to be able to put 15 inch MacBook. Boom. There you go. 
Oh, and then this has these other right here pockets. I always carry a little cashola uh, for when you're hungry. I always carry this like media thing. It's like get out of jail free card. I'm just kidding. But when you are traveling, actually quick tip, when you are traveling, uh, if you need a media rate for a bag at the airport, it help, it's helpful to have something with your name on it that says media. I just use this. It doesn't have my name on it. Uh, what else? Passport. Oh, definitely not in here. Look at this a little safety clip in case you're hanging a camera up. Anyway, uh, that's it. This bag carries a lot of stuff. Uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, you could strap it on your back. <laughs> yeah, tu sabe. And uh, it's really nice. It's pretty balanced. I've never had an issue with it. Um, five years, it has, nothing's torn. Uh, it has these like neoprene side pockets that I usually jab like a water bottle or like a cliff bar or something in. But there you have it. Uh, if you'd like to check out this bag, it's linked below. Uh, if you have any questions about this bag, you can send us an email or just drop me a DM at The Creative Freelancer or at David Brissetti, both linked below. And thanks again to the sponsor for season two of The Creative Freelancer uh, going live today. You can check that out at thecreativefreelancer.com. If you found any value in this gear review, click the subscribe button, like it, leave a comment with a bag you're using that you're thinking about ditching, leave any questions in the comments, I'll hop in there and answer them. Once again, my name is David Rossetti, and thank you for tuning in to this episode of Gear Review with the Think Tank Airport Express.